Hi. Welcome to my fall TBR. Um, right now we're a month into fall now and Libra season is already over, but I am still very excited to talk to you about my fall TBR. Um, I never really made TBRs before, but I really wanted to do it for the fall this year because I had been looking forward to it all summer. Mm, so here they are, and my cute little pumpkin candles, which I got for my birthday um, last week. Yes, I'm a Libra baby. These are all of the books on my TBR. I have some digital books as well. Um, and I thought that since I haven't really filmed a monthly reads video for the past two months, I wanted to do this. Uh, I will be filming one for October, I think. I don't know. Yeah, let me just move this out of the way. So the first book on my fall TBR is Ninth House. Um, I have talked about this book a little bit on this channel, um, also in my September vlog because I have already reread it. Um, Ninth House is a Dark Academia book. I love Dark Academia. Um, so Ninth House follows Alex Stern who has been able to see ghosts her whole life and she's been a victim at the hands of these ghosts since she was a child but of course she's never been able to get help for it which is why she uh, starts to do drugs and gets with this gets with this group of bad people when she's in high school and she drops out of high school and then one day something really bad happens she wakes up to a horrific unsolved multiple homicide and she's in the hospital bed and then she's approached by this dean from Yale who offers her a full ride at Yale but the catch is that she has to be part of this house called Leith House or Leithy House, which is the ninth house, um, to oversee the magical rituals that the other eight houses do. And what I find really cool about it is that the eighth, eight houses are actually real at Yale, and Leigh Bardugo went to Yale, but she made up this ninth house and it's very spooky it's got a lot of magical realism elements there is also sexual assault so please be aware of that when you read this book i really liked it it's really about being a survivor um which i love the next book on my tbr is We Have Always Lived in the Castle. By the way, these are not in order. Um, I am also almost done with this one. Uh, this book has been on my TBR for years now, and I actually watched the movie already a few years ago before I read this book, uh, but I really, really wanted to read it this fall. Um, so, this is my first Shirley Jackson book, actually, but We Have Always Lived in the Castle. It's about this family called the Blackwoods in this little town, and the whole entire town hates this family and is also scared of them. They live in seclusion in this mansion in the woods. 
Um, and then as you read the story, you start to find out why, like what happened to incite this hate from the town villagers and seclusion on the part of the Blackwoods. It also has magical realism and the entire story just creates this very uncomfortable, weird vibe and I love it. Um, it's very weird. And let me just read you, by the way, look how cute this is. Okay, let me just read you the first paragraph of the first page because I think it's so cool. My name is Mary Catherine Blackwood. I am 18 years old and I live with my sister Constance. I have often thought that with any luck at all, I could have been born a werewolf because the two middle fingers on both my hands are the same length, but I have had to be content with what I had. I dislike washing myself and dogs and noise. I like my sister Constance and Richard planted Janet and Amanita Phalloids, the death cup mushroom. Everyone else in my family is dead. Okay, the next book on my TBR is Macbeth. Um, obviously this is The Four Great Tragedies, and I read Hamlet back in the summer, um, but Macbeth is next, just for this fall. Um, I don't want to read all of these at once. And of course, I've already read Romeo and Juliet in high school. I don't know how to explain to you why you should read Macbeth, so maybe you should just go watch Ted Ed's video on why you should read Macbeth, because that was really good, and the illustrations, illustration, illustrations were top tier. Uh, I don't know much about it, except that it's about these three witches, and uh, just like any other Shakespeare play, it's deeply ingrained in our society today, in pop culture and stuff like that, in art, in literature. The next book on my TBR is The Bloody Chamber. Mm, the Bloody Chamber is by Angela Carter, and I wish so badly that I had waited until I had a little bit more money so that I could have bought this cover, because it's so cool. But nevertheless, this is what I have. Um, I've never read Angela Carter before, but I really wanted to read this after I watched Emma's video from when she was reading The Bloody Chamber last fall and it sounds like I would just love this sort of writing, very cozy, sensual, gothic. Mm. The Bloody Chamber is basically a retelling of fairy tales except it's more gruesome and dark and very sensual and I know there's also sexual assault in here too but I know I will just absolutely fall in love with the writing in this one and my boyfriend has read this before and he said the only thing he didn't like about it was how short it was so I know I'm going to love it Uh, the next book on my TBR is The Secret History. Ugh. Of course, I've already read The Secret History three times now because I love Dark Academia. Am I getting too short for you? Do I need to kneel on my... I'm going to sit like this. Um, so The Secret History. What has been 
what has not been said about it that I can add to? I don't know, but look, the pages are yellowing, which I love. Um, I first read this back in November 2019, and it was the book that made me truly realize that writing is what I want to do. That's how powerful it was. Um, so in this book, there is, there are deep Greek and just classical influences in this book, um, which, which I love because I'm a whore for Greek mythology. Uh, it's about this group of students at a at New Hampton College in New Haven, already a very dark academic setting, and they study the ancient classics, and they're very isolated from everyone else in the college and they get swept away by this ancient Greek ritual and they're trying to recreate it and basically uh, I don't know, summon Bacchus Dionysus, if you will and basically have this crazy ritual. I don't want to give too much away, but things happen and there is, I don't know, I, I don't know what to say. I just love it and I implore you to read it. The next book on my TV, oh, okay, I will leave one last one here while I talk about my digital TBRs. So, one of them is Coraline, which I'm reading right now. Uh, I'm not really sure what happens in it. I kind of... Uh, well, first of all, I already knew about it since I was a kid. I would see the movie playing on TV and be absolutely terrified because I am a very easily scared person. And so I don't think I ever finished watching the movie. Um, I just know it has spooky elements and it's a perfect October read, um, but I also know it's for a younger audience, so it can't be that scary, right? Um, but I saw someone on Bookstagram reading it and she said I would like it to based on what I post. Um, and I think so too, so I'm giving it a try. Um, I never really considered reading the book, but so far it has been pretty cute. Um, yeah. Another one on my TBR is Hotel World by Ali Smith, and my boyfriend recommended this one to me. All I know is that it's set in a hotel, and then someone dies, uh, and it's from maybe the perspective of four different women, and it's emotional, thought-provoking, I don't know, I don't really know, but I feel like it's a cozy book, even though it's kind of sad but it's set in a hotel, and it's contemplative, and I like that. Another book on my fall TBR is Sirens and Muses, and I already talked about this in my mid-year book free cap tag, so you can go watch that here. So then the next book, the next book would be The Cloisters by Katie Hayes. And this is coming out in a little more than a week on November 1st. Um, apparently it's for l fans of The Secret History and 
Ninth House, was it? Or another Dark Academia book, but it's basically a mashup of that. So if you like those two books, you'll like this book, and I hope I will too. There's something about tarot or some sort of magical society thing. So I'm excited for that one. And then I am also maybe we'll see going to read Eileen by Otessa Moshweg. I did want to read this this winter because it is set in the winter and I know all there is to know about it before reading it. So I know what to expect. Um, I just really want to take a look at Moshfeg's writing after hearing so much about her and her novels. Apparently it follows this woman who works as a prison guard or something like that. Um, and here it says... Played out against the snowy landscape of coastal New England, young Eileen's story is told from the gimlet-eyed perspective of the now much older narrator. Creepy, mesmerizing, and sublimely funny in the tradition of Shirley Jackson. <gasps> Ooh, and early Vladimir Nabokov. This powerful debut novel introduces one of the most n original new voices in contemporary literature. That's interesting. Um, I think I will like the vibe, maybe. Charmingly disturbing, delightfully dour, pleasingly perverse. Eileen is gloriously unlikable, dirty, startling, and as ferociously human as the novel that bears her name. And then I have one last book on my TBR, which I ordered, but it has not arrived yet because it was on pre-order because for some reason it was very, very hard to find here. And that is If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. And that, of course, is another Dark Academia classic and I am appalled that I have not read it yet. And yet I call myself a dark academia enthusiast. But alas, I am waiting upon its arrival. What I know about it is that it is also set in a college and the characters are theater kids and there's a lot of Shakespearean influence and then somebody also dies but now it's like 10 years later and the main character is finally telling the police what happened after being in jail I think <laughs> um, so I'm very excited to read that as well and I want to thank you for joining me today for my fall TBR let me know if you are thinking about reading any of these as well or what you have on your fall TBR or what you would recommend to me based on what is on my fall TBR. And I will see you.